right, so in this video, I wanna talk about bar ends. So bar ends are really awesome, especially for folding bikes. I love bar ends on actually all bikes, to be honest with you, but folding bikes, it's, it's, it's extremely sweet. So let me talk about the advantages. And yeah, I mean, you can decide for yourself if you wanna set up bar ends on, on your folding bike or your bike or you know whatever it is. So first of all, bar ends are there, you know, they, they were created for, for hill climbing on mountain bikes. So you pull back on the bar ends, it digs your rear wheel into the ground, creating, you know, additional frictional forces. And so you just like fly up the hill faster because otherwise if you're, if you don't have enough friction, your, your wheel's going to have a little bit of spin. So your force is going to, you know, from your legs is going to spin the wheel, which is worthless. So you, you want the friction. And so using your hands, you can actually create a frictional force. It's really important. So I think that's great. Um, so that's the beginning of the story. They, that's where they came from. They're derived from mountain biking stuff, right? So what else are they good for? Well, that's not it. It's kind of cool because on a folding bike, you need different hand positions. You need to mix your hands up, right? Sorry about the video. It's like the lighting here is not so great. Anyway, so the barns give you multiple hand positions. You can put them on the grips, which, which obviously is normal, put them on grips. But, you know, you, I mean, I have at least three or four because I can put my hands in different orientations on the bar ends. And, and therefore I, I just have different contact points for my hands, which is important. So you don't get numbness in your hands. So you don't hurt your hands. Right. So it's very, very important to distribute forces all throughout the entire hand, you know, position. Uh, it's normal if you're going to bike for a long time and keep your hands in the same place, you get like your hands go numb actually. So I've had that happen. A friend of mine who, who I went biking across the country with the first time he, yeah, he didn't bring gloves and I don't think it took very long. I think it was a couple of days. His hands were completely numb for two weeks, you know, but I, I mean, after two weeks, he got gloves and I think they started to improve, you know, but the point being, you don't want your hands to be numb. That's like really a bad idea. I mean, it creates additional wrist dynamics. So, you know, having bar ends, you know, helps protect your hands really, which is imperative. In addition, turning is really great. You know, you have bar ends, here's the deal. If you put your hands as close to the center of the handlebar as possible and you try to turn, it's really, really hard. Okay, if you put it all the way to the edge of the handlebar, it's a lot easier. I'm, put, I'm moving my hands, you can't see in the video, sorry everybody, but I'm like moving my hands, you know. If you have it close, it's hard to turn, right? When you're further outside, it's, it's easier to turn. And with the bar ends, you orient your hands in the perfect way. It's easy to turn. For city riding, it's really a dream, especially on a folding bike, because folding bikes are supposedly a little squirrely to turn because of the long stem and everything like that. So anyway, yeah, bar ends make it easier to turn, you know, change your hand positions, and they increase your ability to climb hills, you know, because it creates more frictional forces. Thank you very much for watching. Appreciate it.